In today's video, I am going to give solutions for third order linear homogeneous reference relation. And this topic is related to the discrete mathematics. See here the question a n plus a n minus 1 minus 8 n minus 2 minus 12 a n minus 3 is equal to 0 where n greater than or equal to 3 with the initial conditions a naught is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 5 and a2 is equal to 1. See the given recurrence relation is The recurrence relation is a n plus a n minus 1 minus 8 times of a n minus 2 minus 12 n minus 3 is equal to 0. So, we have to write the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is so the characteristic equation can be written as so this is of order 3. This is m cube minus, so this is plus, so this is plus m square minus 8m minus 12 is equal to 0. Now we have to find the factors for all these. For finding the factors C, the quotient of m cube is 1, the quotient of m square is 1, the quotient of m is minus 8 and this is minus 12. So now I am going to check with 3, 0, so this is 3 ones are 3. And this is going to be 4 and this is nothing but 12. So, this is 4 and again this is plus 12. So, now I can easily cancel or put 0 here. And the next one I am going to check with C here. Now, I am going to check with minus 2. So, this is 0, 1. So, this is minus 2. This will be plus 2 and this is uh, again minus 4. And this is going to be minus 4. And this here plus 4 and minus 4 and this is going to become 0 and what remains here next again I am going to check with minus 2 0 1 so this is minus 2 and again we have uh, 0 here and we have 0 value therefore the roots are therefore the roots are 3 comma so this can be written as Therefore, the roots are 3 comma, this is minus 2 minus 2. They are two equal roots and one different roots. So, how to write the solution for this? Therefore, the solution is, therefore, the solution can be written as a n is equal to, see here for equal roots, this is a c1 plus a c2 n into this is minus 2 power n and this is a c3, this is 3 power n. So, this is 3 power n. Now, the initial conditions are a0 is equal to 1. See here, what is given? a0 is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 5 and a2 is equal to 1. Now, we have to substitute all the values here. So, now if I put n is equal to 1, so put n is equal to 1. So, n is equal to 0. So, this will be a0 value. So, a0 value will be c1 plus c2 0 and this is minus 2 power 0 and this is c3 and this is 3 power 0. So, what is a0 value? So, a0 value is nothing but 1. So, 1. So, this is c1. 0 into anything is 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. And this is anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, this is a c1 plus c3. So, this is equation number 1. And again, we have to put n is equal to 1 here now. So, put n is equal to 1. So, in the same equation, if I put n is equal to 1, so this will be a1 is equal to c1 plus c2 into 1 and this is minus 2 power 1 and c3 and this is again 3 power 1. What is a1? So, a1 value is equal to 5. Now, if I substitute a1 is equal to 5, a1 is equal to 5, this will be minus 2. So, this is minus 2 c1 minus 2 c2 and this is 3 c3. So, this is 3 c3. So, this is our second equation. Now, if I keep n is equal to 2. So, in this equation, if I keep n is equal to 2, what happens? See here, put n is equal to put n is equal to 2 in this equation. So, in this equation, if I put n is equal to 2, a2 is equal to, this is a c1 plus c2 into 2 and this is minus 2 square 
and this is c3 and 3 square so what is our a2 value so a2 value i am showing this is a2 is equal to 1 so if i substitute 1 here a2 in place of a2 1 so this will be c1 plus a 2 c2 this is minus 2 into minus 2 this is plus 4 and 3 square this is 9 c3 see here 1 is equal to if i multiply this is 4 c1 plus 8 c2 plus 9 c3 this is equation number 3 now we have to solve these three equations so what is our first equation here the first equation is nothing but c1 plus c3 is equal to 1 the second equation is 2c1 so this is minus 2c1 minus 2c2 plus 3c3 is equal to 5 and the next one is 4c1 plus this is 8c2 plus 9c3 is equal to 1 so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 so there is a combination of C1 and C2. So, I am going to cancel cancel C2 here. So, for that I have to multiply with 4 and I have to add, add this. So, equation 2 into 4. So, equation 2 into 4 plus equation 3. See what happens here. So, if I multiply with uh, 4 this equation that is minus 8C1 minus 8C2. And if I multiply with 4, so this will be 12C3 and 4 Pfizer, this one is 20. So this is 4C1 plus 8C2 plus 9C3 is equal to 1. Now, see, if I add all, if I add these two equations, so this will get cancelled and the rest is minus 4C1. So this is minus 4C1 plus so this is 21 c3 is equal to 21 and now we have the equations as 4 c1 plus 21 c3 is equal to 21 so this is equation number 4 so this is equation number 4 and see we have equation number 1 as a c1 plus c3 is equal to 1 so we have equation c1 plus c3 is equal to 1 according to equation 1 so if i solve uh, 4 and 1 equations we will be getting c1 and c3 values so equation 1 into 4 so equation 1 into 4 plus equation 4 see here what happens so i am writing 4 equate 4 i am writing equation 1 into 4 that is 4 c1 plus 4 c3 is equal to 4 and equation 4 is minus 4 c1 plus 21 c3 is equal to 21 now if i add these two so i can cancel c1 so that see here this will be 25 so this is 25 c3 is equal to 25 and our c3 and our c3 value is equal to 25 by 25 and c3 is equal to 1 so after getting c3 so we have equation 1 as so equation 1 implies c1 plus c3 is equal to 1 so here c1 c3 is equal to 1 is equal to 1 c1 is equal to 1 minus 1 and c1 value is equal to 0 so we got the value of c1 as 0 so after getting c10 let's get started to find out the value so here we got c1 as 0 c3 as 1 so c3 as 1 now i can substitute the here in equation so in which equation in second equation so what is second equation so this is equation 2 implies so equation 2 implies this is minus 2 c1 minus 2 c2 plus 3 c3 is equal to 5 so if i put c1 0 and c2 as it is c3 as 1 is equal to 5 so this is 0 this is 2 c2 plus 3 is equal to 5 minus uh, 2c2 is equal to 5 minus 3 minus 2c2 is equal to 2 and c2 value is equal to 2 by minus 2 and c2 is equal to minus 1 so we got the values as see here c1 value as 0 
C2 value was minus 1 and C3 value was 1. So, now see here, look at the solution. So, what is our solution? An is equal to, I will show you, C1 plus C2n, this is minus 2 power n and this is C3, this is 3 power n. So, this is the solution we got just now after finding the roots as 3 minus 2 minus 2. And as these are equal roots, this is a combination C1 plus C2n and this is a different and distinct root that is 3 power n. So, now we have to substitute all the values here. So, if I keep here, then a n value, a n is equal to, what is c1? c1 is equal to 0. What is c2? This is minus 1 into n. This is minus 2 power n. What is c3? This is 1 into 3 power n. Therefore, the solution is minus n times of minus 2 power n plus this is 3 power n. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these steps. And if you really like this video, see. So, first of all, we have to find the recurrence relation, characteristic equation. And we have to find the roots as, uh, these roots we got as 3, minus 1 and minus 2. This is the solution. The initial conditions are A0 is equal to 1, A1 is equal to 5 and A2 is equal to 1. So, for A0, we have to substitute N is equal to 0 in this uh, solution. So, after substituting N is equal to 0, we got the value as C1 plus C3 is equal to 1. If we put N is equal to 1, we got equation 2. And if we keep N is equal to n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 we got this equation so now we have to solve this 1 2 and 3 so after solving 1 2 and 3 equations we got the values of c1 as 0 c2 as minus 1 and c3 as 1 and this is the general solution thank you so much for watching and staying till the end and this is how we have to solve thank you so much